Welcome to your 10th tutorial in Discrete Math 2 and today I'm going to talk about conditional probability and conditional probability is when an outcome A affects the next outcome B so A and B are events and their outcomes depend so the outcome for B depends on the outcome for A and here imagine you have a random person that wants to go for a quick checkup so there are two chances that one he has a disease and the other he does not have the disease okay so if he has it there's always like a 99 percent chance of finding um, the disease so the chances of coming out positive is the say 99 percent and there's always a one percent chance that the test will fail or if he doesn't have the disease then let's say there is um, a 4% chance that the test will come out positive and that leaves 96% of the test coming out negative which is right alright so the first line here um, the outcome for P depends on D so if you do have the disease, then the chances are 99% it will come out positive. So notice here, event B, in this case, is P and P not. So you have positive and po no, not positive or negative. And here you have the same positive, but they have different um, outcomes. Here the positive is 99% and here it's 4%. And that's what we mean by the probability of, uh, or the outcome of B depends on the outcome for A. So here's the outcome A. Okay, so the formula for it is the probability of B given A, and is B given A, is equal to the probability of B intersection A divided by the probability of A. And this Bayes theorem, it states that the probability of A given B is equal to the probability of A times the probability of B given A divided by, the, notice that these two are the same, so divided by the same expression plus the probability of A naught times the probability of B given A naught. So all that change from here to here is we're here we're dealing with a naught alright so in the next example I'm not gonna use Bayes theorem but um, it's gonna be much simpler than because you don't have to memorize or anything so it's, it should help alright so here we have 90 percent of new airport security uh, personnel have prior training in weapon detection during the first month, personnel without prior training fail to detect a weapon 4% of the time, while those with prior training only fail 0.3% of the time. So what is the probability a new employee with prior training fails to detect a weapon? So first of all, you have to label your, your events, and th in this case I'm going to call it T for have training and H, oh sorry, um, D for detect weapon. You can call these whatever you want, but I just like to use T and D for this example. Just take the first letter. And this question is asking us the probability of um, D, so he fails to detect a weapon, but he has training. So D, not. So he fails to detect a weapon, given that he had training. Alright, so the way I do this is I like to draw a tree to represent everything, and that way I can answer any question being asked. So here you have 90% of new airport security have prior training. So you go ahead and just draw, take like a random person at first, and this guy um, had training, so 90% of the people 
will have training. And that leaves 10% that don't have training. 10 is just uh, 100 minus 90. Alright, and during the first month, personnel without, so notice here it's without prior training, they failed 4% of the time. So those without, so here without training, they failed, so they did not, 4% of the time. And notice that if you're giving um, these values in decimals, then it's just 1 minus the number because remember uh, probabilities can only go up to one and that leaves out 96 percent for detecting a weapon given that you don't have training all right so while those with prior training so if you have training only fail so fail 0.3 percent of the time so if you have training, you're going to fail 0.3%. And that leaves out um, detecting a weapon given that you have training. That will be 99.7%. Okay, since we're dealing with probability, we're going to divide everything by 100. Just to get rid of the percentage sign. So here you have 0 0.9, 0 0.1, 0 0.04, um, 0 0.96, 0 0.003, and 0 0.997. And if you add those two, you should. So if you add them, you should get one. And if you add those two, and you add them, you should get one. All right. So now we're being asked for the probability of um, D. D not given A. I'll just get rid of this. Alright, so when you're asked this, the first thing you want to do is understand the question. And what is this asking is, what is the probability that someone that fails to detect a weapon and he has training? And remember that the people that fail to detect a weapon, they can either, ha either have training or don't have training. So if you have two circles of people, so let's see, two circles. Um, these people have training and these people do not have training. Alright, so all of them fail to detect a weapon. So let's just say everyone here fails to detect a weapon. Okay, so you just want to find the probability that someone is in this circle out of all of it. So you want to find someone in here. But remember that the whole population for failing to detect a weapon is in here. Alright, so in, in the tree form, you're going to have this guy and this guy here. So you have both of them fail to detect a weapon, regardless of whether they had or didn't have training. And we want to limit our, our search for those people here. Okay, so all you're going to do is you find the probability for D0, since we're looking for D0, and put it on top. So you have um, the probability of D0 given T. So you're going to look for the first one, the first um, number, or the first letter, and find it in the graph, which is here and here. And then you're going to refine it to match the second variable, or B. So you're going to have training and failed. And just write this number on top, so 0 0.003, and multiply it by the whole population of people with training, and that will be 0 0.9. And you're going to divide that by the same expression, so 0 0.003 and 0 0.9, and you're going to add that to the population of people that failed to detect and did not have training. And that will be 0 0.04 times 0 0.1. And that is equal to 0 0.4029, so just 0 
And this is the probability that someone fails to detect a weapon given that they have training. Alright, I hope this video made some sense, and if you have any questions, please leave a comment or send me a message. Um, I hope you like this video, and I'll see you next tutorial.